Yo, what's up everybody? It's Mr. Clark. Everybody say, I can multiply unit fractions. Alright, and then we're going to show how the area model corresponds with the appropriate unit fraction. Let's get started. So here we have one half times one third. So I'll make a fraction model for one half. And then we're going to make another fraction model for one third. Now notice that they're both going in different directions, up and down, and then the other one is left to right. That's important for making these area models. Because what we're going to do is we're going to overlap them on top of each other. And the part that they both have in common, that shade of yellow, that's the answer to our multiplication sentence. Which if we look at the model, there's six spaces and only one of them overlaps. So we would say the answer is one sixth. Now even though we think multiply means to get bigger, when we multiply something by a fraction, it actually gets smaller. Because what we're saying here is we're taking half of a third or one third of a half. Another way we could have got our answer is simply to multiply straight across. Two times three is six, one times one is one, so one six. All right, let's look at another example. Here we have one fourth times one fifth. So I'm gonna make a model for one fourth and then another model for one fifth. Again, notice my first one, I've said my shaded parts are going up and down and my second one are going left to right so that we can overlap them on top of each other. So we overlap them and we see that we create smaller unit squares within because we're saying one fourth of one fifth or one fifth of a fourth. And that one shaded part that overlaps is our answer. So if we look at our model, we see that it's one out of 20 spaces, so 1 20th. So again, when we multiply by a fraction, our answer is actually smaller than what we started with. So another way that we could have got our answer, again, is multiplying. So four times five is 20, and one times one on top gives us 1 20th. All right, let's look at one last example. Here we have 1 third times 1 6. So again, I'm gonna make one model for 1 third and another model for 1 6. Again, making sure that they're in two opposite directions when I draw my model. So again, we're gonna overlap them. And the part that overlaps that they both have in common is our answer. So there's a little guy right here. If we notice is one out of 18 total little unit squares. So we say that unit tile is 1 18. Now we could have also done three times six, which gives us 1 18. So to sum it all up, when multiplying fractions, you create two visual models and overlap them, and your unit fraction is one of those little squares. And today we're only concerned with multiplying unit fractions. Thanks, see you next time. Peace out. Created using Powtoon.